Testing. Cool. Hey, what's up guys? My name is Rafal and today I'm gonna show you how to slow down your 4K drone footage in Adobe Premiere Pro using one of my favorite techniques, optical flow. Now this tutorial is meant for anyone who has a DJI Mavic or any drone that films in 4K but doesn't film at 4K 60 frames a second. So if you guys have a clip that's in 4K and you wanna slow it down a little bit more, this tutorial is for you. There are three ways you could slow down footage. The default way normally is frame sampling, which is just when the program duplicates each frame as many times as it has to before you can hit the length of that clip you're trying to slow down. You follow me? The second way is frame blending, which is when Adobe takes the true frames of your clip and just cross dissolves them together until you get the length of the clip you need. The third and final way is optical flow, which is when Premiere creates whole new frames based off the real frames in the clip. So there are three clips I'm gonna be working with today. The first clip is of me just setting my backpack down and sitting down on the beach watching the sunset. The second clip is of a real estate property I filmed not too long ago. And the third clip is of me just walking down the beach during my time in the Philippines. All right, so enough talk. Let's jump into Premiere Pro. I'm gonna show you guys how to do this. Okay guys, so here we are in Adobe Premiere Pro. I have my three clips right here and really quickly, I wanna show you guys the frame rate. I got two clips here that were filmed at 23.976, 24 frames per second, and then my third clip was filmed at 30 frames per second. The reason why I did that was because I knew I was going to export at 24 frames per second, so this gave me a bit more of a head start towards slowing it down. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that in a second. Okay, so let's go ahead and take our first clip. I'm just gonna right click and hit new sequence from clip. All right, cool. So the first thing we're gonna do is we wanna slow this clip down by 50%. That's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna right click the clip. Right here it says speed and duration and then I'm just gonna hit it to 50%. And let me backtrack really quick. You guys can also bring up this dialog by hitting Command R on a Mac, Control R on a PC and hit 50% and uh, that's gonna slow it down. So if I really quickly look at this, you can see each frame is duplicated. So this is frame sampling, as I explained earlier. So if I bring up this dialog again, I'm gonna change this to frame blending really quick. And then if I bring this up, I don't know if you can see it. Essentially every frame is being blended in with the frame after it. So you have a full frame, half frame, full frame, half frame, full frame, half frame. Now, finally, I'm gonna hit optical flow right here. I'm gonna hit okay. Now this part is green right here because I already rendered a part of this while I was testing this uh, tutorial out just to make sure I didn't look weird. So now check this out. You see how smooth that clip is? It's really smooth, it's really cinematic and what Adobe is doing is every real frame that exists, because I slowed it down by 50%, it's making up a new frame every other frame. So it's taking the information from the two clips, analyzing it, and sort of guessing what the next frame would look like. And this is the result. So you see that? Looking really good. Let's go ahead and move on to our second clip, which is of this house. Now, I said earlier, I filmed this house at 29.97 frames per second. So we're gonna right click this clip, go to modify and interpret footage. It's gonna bring up this dialogue here. And whenever you're filming at 60 frames per second or 120 frames per second and you wanna slow all of your clips down, all you're gonna do is click on assume this frame rate and then you're gonna type in the frame rate of the sequence you're gonna be editing in. In this case, it's gonna be 23.976. So I'm gonna set it to that, 23.976. Hit enter. And now this clip is at 24 frames per second. So now, again, I'm going to right click it new sequence from clip. And this shot is already slowed down a little bit. In fact, it's slowed down by 80%. So if you take a 30 frame per second clip and slow it down to 24 frames per second, you're slowing it down by 80%. Okay, so again, I want this clip slowed down. I want this reveal to be a little bit more dramatic. So I'm gonna hit Command R, again, Control R on a PC. I'm gonna slow down to 50%. Time interpolation, we're gonna set that to optical flow and hit okay. And now it's not rendered, so it's gonna do frame sampling until I render it out. So give me a sec, let's render this guy out. Cool, so now it's rendered out, let's take a look. Look how smooth that is. That is so freaking cool. I love optical flow so much because of this stuff. It is so great. So again, I'm recreating, I'm making it look like I filmed at 60 frames per second on a drone that's not capable of filming at 60 frames per second in 4K. So now we're gonna move on to our final clip of me walking across the beach 
and I picked this clip specifically to show you guys the darker side of optical flow. So here's the thing with optical flow. It's a giant guessing game for Adobe. Adobe is taking two frames and just guessing what the frame is going to look like in the middle of them. So if there's a lot of detail in a shot or if there's a lot of fast movement in a shot, it's gonna be a lot harder for Adobe to determine what the frames are going to look like. Here's an example. There are a lot of details in this shot. For example, behind my feet here is a bunch of moss, some grass in the water, and here in the foreground, we have a bunch of little ripples. Those are details that Adobe is going to try and replicate in the new frames. So let's see what happens when I try to apply optical flow to a clip like this. So I'm going to hit Command R, 50%, hit optical flow and hit okay. Again, I rendered this out earlier, so let's just go ahead and set an out point right here. Now check this out. So it looks kind of funky here where my feet are. Adobe is trying to guess where my feet end and the grass begins. So I'm getting a bunch of artifacting in this. So I'm gonna go a little bit further in the clip and show you another instance of artifacting. In this point, the drone is a little further away and check out the ripples in this water. It's having issues sort of deciding where the first ripple ends and where the second ripple begins and it's duplicating details that aren't supposed to be duplicated. It's removing details that aren't supposed to be removed and it's just causing a bunch of artifacting. Optical float is very picky. It can't have a lot of movement, it can't have a lot of detail, and the more contrast it has, the better it will understand where one object ends and the next object begins. Now, there are apps out there like Twixter that allow you to go more in depth and you get a better result out of it, but if you are looking for a quick fix to slow down your 4K footage, this is the way to go. But guys, those are the basics on how to use optical flow to slow down your 4K drone footage. If you liked this tutorial, please give this video a thumbs up and let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. This is my first tutorial ever. Hopefully I will be making more in the future. If you guys like this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button. A like and a comment won't hurt either. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.